I love basketball. I'm six foot three, you know, <laughs> black guy who grew up in Brooklyn. You know, so I would, you know, why wouldn't I love basketball? But there were promises that were made by the developer. There was promises for basketball, promises for jobs, and there was promises for, for, for housing, affordable housing in particular. And unfortunately, he has broken our trust. The developer has broken those promises. And as a result, you know, we are now on the outside looking in within our own neighborhood. And th the sad part is, is that the developer, now co-developers, don't see anything wrong with it. That we now have a toothless document called commun a community benefits agreement uh, that really serves no one in the community. Uh, I do support legislation that has been proposed uh, in the Senate by our Senator Velma Montgomery, which mm -hmm. the uh, Atlantic Yards Governance Act, which will bring greater transparency to uh, this project. But the one thing I'm, I'm also would tend to uh, say is that we need to, going forward, our governor has talked about public and private partnerships, investing billions of dollars, uh, whether it's in casinos, whether it's in the city of Buffalo, whether it's in Aqueduct, and again, promises are being made, jobs, jobs, and more jobs. But ultimately, in order for us to make those things come to fruition, we have to do things different. We have to learn from this project. And if it means taking what we didn't do and putting it, doing it elsewhere, so be it. But what we need to do is to make sure that this doesn't become not a learning moment. As a former teacher, you always want to make things a learning moment. And this is a learning moment, unfortunately, for us. Unfortunately, we're, we're not benefiting from this learning moment as a community. But I think as a state, going forward, we can. Um, do we need added oversight? Does ESDC need to create a, have a compliance officer on site? Yes. Do we need a, comp uh, do we need a, a compliance officer that's separate and apart from the developer? Yes. And these are the things that I'll be pressing going forward. I'll be working with my colleagues in, Al in Albany as it relates to the, the next phase of this project, which encompasses the housing piece, and making sure that we're getting our, our, our fair due in terms of affordable housing, in particular two and three bedroom units of affordable housing, so that we can have people who are looking to make a vested interest in our community, and not people who are looking to just bypass our community and is looking for a place to rest their head and, and to find another place to live. So ultimately, those are things I'll be doing as a legislator up in Albany as it relates to this project. But clearly, you know, promises have been broken, um, and uh, we look to, to make sure that, uh, at the very least, we get um, housing uh, for, for people who are looking to make Brooklyn their home.